All right, so for the past few weeks, I've been asking a lot of people for laptop suggestions. I've been asking my uh, juniors, seniors, long lost school friends for uh, laptop suggestions and I uh, finally decided to get a MacBook Air. In this video, I just want to expand my purchase decision and uh, how does it go well with a uh, data science workflows. But, but first, I just want to say that it's not like I have a lot of money to buy a MacBook Air and that's why I'm getting it. And uh, it's not like I don't care about my tech. Actually, I'm a big fan of Android and open source. I don't know how I'll survive with that. But, but the new MacBook is just too good to ignore, uh, especially since they started using their own chip inside. So I'll explain why I'm buying this. So, uh, so my requirements are, one, I use laptops with 10 browser tabs open almost all the time. So I would need laptops with light to moderate heavy performance. Two, I like my laptops thin and light. I don't like carrying laptops which are more than 2 kg. And three, I'm not a heavy gamer, but I would need a decent GPU for my uh, deep learning assignments, which are part of the BGDBA course, but I can run it in the cloud too. So that's not an issue. And four, uh, I would need some video editing software to edit my badly four minute YouTube videos. So why MacBook? Uh, we all know it's super light, uh, but as for other requirements, since Apple started using their own chips, the performance is just too good to ignore. So, so basically Apple is using uh, chips which are similar in architecture to mobile phone chips. So imagine opening your laptop and it's instantly on. You uh, use it all day and it's still left with 20-30%. So, so it's basically like your phone. But maybe I just fell for Apple marketing. So please help me uh, comment down what laptops you have or, uh, or any suggestions if you have. Okay, for data science, for most classical machine learning models, we only require CPU performance and Apple has a good C CPU which is uh, their own silicon chips. So for GPU, GPUs were traditionally used for 3D modeling and games which are uh, graphic intense because uh, they are just linear algebra and matrix calculations of where things are in space. So people eventually figured that uh, neural networks, uh, that is deep learning, is also a big matrix multiplication and you can do that on GPU. So that is the history of GPU and machine learning. And the MacBook Air does have decent GPU cores. And if you have heavy workloads, you can run it in the cloud too. So that's not an issue. So that's about Apple and data science. I don't know how I'll survive without taking pants. I like, I like my laptop stick. I like thick, thick. So, uh, Figured that there are blah blah blah.